Well, let's get to today's day dish. Happening today, this is so cool. In Morganfield, the police, along with the fire department, took to Facebook to say they want to go sledding with oh, the area so residents. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it starts at four today. What, what will the temperature be? Well, Susan? upper teens if you're lucky. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wrap up. Yeah. So it's called the Big Hill in Morganfield. Police officers and firefighters will be set up to go sledding. They have free hot chocolate and pizza and snacks and warming stations set up so everybody can take a break from the frigid weather. Uh, They'll be out playing in the slow snow, of course, and they say they're going to hang out with you until you okay. want to stop. Both organizations are encouraging folks to build a snowman or 10 or 12 if you want to. <laughs> the fun starts at 4 today. I think that is the coolest. That is going to be spontaneous. Fun. I bet they're going to have lines. Oh, they will. Yeah, they're going to have lines, and they're going to have to send some over to get uh, some snacks and some warm warm drinks, too. I think it's back. fun that they have the big hill. I think every community, uh, right. if they have a hill, right. there's a snow. You know where to go. Hill. Yeah, I'm sure everybody in that area knows exactly where they that do. is. They yes. do. And do what? Fun. Well, congratulations have fun, on that. guys. Be careful, but have fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, calling customer service is often frustrating for all of us, but now many companies are turning the phones over to robots. Mm -hmm. A new study finds people actually really don't have any issues with the so-called chat bot as long as they interact in a human way. In fact, researchers say artificial intelligence and natural language processing systems are getting so good that callers often don't know whether they're speaking to a real person wow. or a bot. I, I, I guess I've talked to a I'm robot. pretty sure I have. So oh, I think no. I can tell, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe I can't. I thought I always did. But. If you ever get a human being, besides the, your call is very important, important to us. us. Please yes. hold. I know. I did, Please I sat, enjoy this music. I sat well. one morning this week waiting on one of them for mm -hmm. quite a while. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, I just you know, tried to do something else. Multitask. Put it, yeah, put it on speakerphone and listen for when they finally get to me. My gal. <laughs> so Elmo, uh, Elmo from uh, Sesame Street, set a record straight out, out of a Sesame Street clip from 2000. And four. It went viral, some say. Elmo got a little heated in this one. In the 35 second clip, which has been viewed over 7 million times, Elmo and Zoe are fighting over cookies. Zoe wants the only oatmeal raisin cookie for her pet rock, Rocco. The internet was quick to respond, many saying Elmo had the right to be mad. Elmo responded on Twitter <laughs> and said, quote, Elmo and Zoe practice sharing and are still best buds forever, concluding <laughs> Elmo doesn't want to talk about Rocco anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just well, leave good it at for that. you, kids. We're moving on. That's hilarious. But That's seven so million views. That's incredible. Don't you remember when Elmo was a huge craze? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, he still lives one of the favorite toys uh, yeah. for kids, mm -hmm. so he's had a long yes. career. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Don't worry about Rocco, Elmo. It'll all be good. Yeah.